Hello there, I am John Cole from Earthbound. In the last part, we tried, we got our, um, into Club, uh, Sticto. Um, and we tried some, uh, cake from a, uh, lady that had them, and she bakes cakes and stuff. It made us feel strange, I see it in the text box right there. But I'll read it again. Ness had a dream, it was a very it was very queer and very strange dream. It was a very queer and very strange dream, there we go. Dellum in the Far East. That's a cool looking palace. <laughs> I like the elephant statues. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Interesting. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the palace, go, sorry, go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. So now we can control us Pooh, apparently. So yeah, it sucks some people though. Use the treasure of Dalam as you wish. Go in peace. Okay. So yeah, Pooh opened the chest. Whoa! Brain food lunch was inside. Who takes it? Who opens the chest? Um, whoa! A couple of life noodles inside. Cool, that's awesome. Who take, takes it? And finally, Pooh opens the chest. Whoa! There's a brainstone inside. Uh, who takes it? I think in Mother One, it's this is the equivalent seat to like the PSI stone, so it's good to keep that in mind. You can you can save here if you want. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's you're pretending to ah, it. Okay, yeah, I think I messed this up because I was supposed to read that. Nothing really. Good luck. Click me. Let me read that again. Hello. Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a, at a time like this. Well, experience to get... Well, EXP to get to next level. Poo, 1390. Anyway, what do you need from me? I'm not gonna save uh, because I might have a recording, you know. So I said, just good luck, quick beep beep beep. Okay. So yeah, I like Poo. He's Asian. I'm Asian. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, his status. He's level 15 right now. His offense is 32. His defense is 27. His speed is 11. His guts is 5. His vitality is 7. His IQ is 7. His luck is 5. He has like 112 uh, HP, and then uh. For PP, he has, um, 37. So, yeah, and, like, you know, I think Jeff and Paul are, like, level 38 each. I think Ness is at least, little, yeah, last time I checked, but Ness is level 45. So, he's he's got a little catching up to do, but that's okay. We'll get him caught up, I guess, for later. Yeah, he'll get caught up real fast, hopefully, because, like, the enemies we fight in, like, summers and all that are really high leveled, and they give up plenty of experience, so Pooh will level up pretty fast, I'm hoping. And that's probably the case too. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite blush. Hehehe. <laughs> okay. I wasn't supposed to read was in parentheses, but that's okay. It's, I do that all the time. I do that all the time. No, I want to talk to you. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm mm. Okay. I like the music. It's really nice. Spoot. I think it just. That's like referencing that I farted or something. I don't know, it's kind of gross. Oh, Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Oh, That's... I just... I gotta do what I gotta do, I'm sorry. Oh, Prince Pooh, you have time to play with me? No, I do not, I'm sorry. Ha, I knew it. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. <laughs> A quote-unquote training. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I heard Pooh that Prince Pooh is deeply, deeply into Moo training. I want to help him if I can. Yeah, I think the Japanese version was like MU training or uh, me training, but Moo training, I guess, in the American version of Earth, you know, Earthbound. Um, it sounds more funny or something. Yeah, or funnier. <laughs> okay, let's talk to you. 
Uh, you have nice little eyes. You must be Prince Poo. Long ago, I complete Moo training. I want to show you a high level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this the high this high level, learning this high level. I'll see you again so long. I think he has to do with like a star man thing later on, but we'll just we'll see him later, I guess. Here is the place of emptiness right here. I want to go up here and you can just meditate. I like how he meditates, he does. Chris calls applesauce right now, he's meditating. Prince Pooh is meditating. Ah, oh, Prince Pooh, I'm, I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you can you, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. The, your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say, it is the truth. Well, she's she's lying, so just stay meditated. I think if you don't mess, you you like use move the D-pad or anything, and press on the D-pad, you can just continue to um meditate. Cool. Oh gosh, this guy has a big head. <laughs> okay, Prince Pooh, I am a spirit of your ancient uh lineage. Lineage. Um, to complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yes, of course. So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the cows. Or crows, I mean. <laughs> feed them to the crows. The, the, the taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yes. I'll just do it, man. I'll just do it. Ah, Prince Pooh. Without legs and arms, you cannot lie. You can only lie there. Now I will cut off your ears off. You don't mind me taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Yes. Just go at it, man. Go at it. So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. Oh yeah, I should be talking like a quieter voice or something. And you came because like, you took off your, you kind of teared off your ears and whatnot. Okay. Um, by floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you take? Do you take? Do you care if I take your eyes? You, you want to live uh, in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Yes. Oh man. Oh man. So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Uh, your mind is all you have left. And then I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to do well that, do you? So you, you can't answer. Uh, you can only, you can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you will also lose f any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I'll take your mind, please. Pooh, know that I will possess it. Okay. Prince Pooh, hey, well, okay, awesome. That was just a part of our training. Nice. So yeah, just saying yes to everything being taken away from Pooh. That's how you do it. <laughs> Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. We'll just do, we'll do just that. See, let's make our way back to the palace and see what our master has to say for us. I do still like the music, it's really nice. Kind of like a move reminds me of music from the Disney movie Mulan. I haven't, I've seen Mulan 1 like several times, but I've never seen Mulan 2. I heard that Mushu is like a big jerk in the second one, but in the first one movie is actually really nice. He helps out Mulan and everything, but in the second movie he just like tears, uh, uh, um, Mulan's, uh, friend. I think it was, uh, what was his name? I know, like, she was being, her, her army name in Mulan 1 was Ping, but I forget, um, what the, um, leader of the, um, army guy's name was. I'll put his name on screen right now, and text over it. I just don't remember, honestly, off the top of my head. But yeah, they, Mushu just tried to tear them both apart in the second movie for some reason. I guess they got jealous or something. Although I haven't seen the second Mulan movie, as I said before, so I really don't know. But I just heard that he's like a bigger jerk in the second movie, but in the first movie he's like a really nice character and, you know, he's very likable. But in the second movie it's just the opposite, I guess, of what I've heard at least. So yeah, let's talk to our master now. 
I am proud. You have completed your Mu training. Ha, <laughs> Mu training. I, I don't know how to that. Mu, Mu. <laughs> this is nothing more to teach. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Okay. Nice. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity, entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only, one who, the only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness, one named Ness is the leader. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once for all beings, for the Earth herself. Uh, I pray uh, for growth in the might of the four. Pooh's level is now level 16. He's now 16. Offense went up by 2. Oh baby, defense went up by 3. Speed went up by 2. Oh baby, guts went up by 3. Vitality went up by 1. Oh IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 2. Max HP went up by 8. Uh, Rox Max HP went up by 8. Pooh realized the power of shield beta. Pooh's level is now level 17. Offense went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Max HP went up by 2. Pooh realized the power of teleport alpha. Uh, Pooh's level, Poo level is now level 18. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. Pooh realized the power of teleport beta. Nice. And we're gonna use teleport at least alpha here. He spins around and just runs off. And look how fast he catches up with Ness in the game. Ness, Paul, and Jeff. My name is Pooh. I am one who will fight beside you. I am I am a servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. Who joined you? Yeah, okay, so now we have, finally have a party of four. If you go to our statuses, though, Ness is level 45, Jeff is, uh, no, Paul, I mean, Paul is level 38, Jeff is level 38, and Pooh is level 18. So, but it'll get caught up in levels, uh, you know, fairly soon, because again, these enemies in Summers and Beyond are, like, give out a lot of experience, and Pooh will, sh will surely catch up, um, just in a, maybe in a couple of parts, actually, it just depends. On how many enemies we fight and how much experience we get for everyone. Yeah. So yeah, um, Pooh also... I shouldn't close out of that, that's okay. Pooh also has, um, offense. He has PSI Freeze A Alpha and Beta. And PSI Thunder Alpha and Beta. Where he, uh, he can heal, which is nice. He has Life Up Alpha and Life Up Beta. He has Healing Alpha and Healing Beta. And he can assist with Shield Alpha. I don't know that group symbol in the middle. And then Shield Beta. And then others, he can use Teleport Alpha and Teleport Beta, which I think Ness doesn't even know. Ness only has Teleport Beta. Or I mean, Teleport Alpha, I mean. So he has like Teleport Beta, and Ness doesn't even have Teleport Beta. Yeah, see, so he just has Teleport Alpha. So yeah, we'll hopefully get more into Pooh's story and get us start using him in battle if we can in the next part. But I'm gonna head off to the hotel again and save. So yeah, this has been the My Earth Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part, we'll take on. Um, more summers, I guess, and we'll probably learn more about Pooh if we can. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I'd like to thank you again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time on Earthbound. Let's play.